Hey everyone, doing a video today on milk. That's right, milk. So here's my dilemma. I love milk. I love cow's milk. It's like the greatest stuff ever, right? Ice cream and, you know, milk in your cereal. And I'm not really a milk drinker, but I do love a good bowl of cereal and I love milk. So here's what I typically would be drinking. I would be drinking 0% fat-free skim milk, okay? This is what I've drank for years and I love it. Like I said, I don't really drink it by the glass, maybe dip some cookies in it, something like that occasionally, but uh, overall it's just in cereal, and uh, I'm good with that, but I, the more I keep hearing, it's not good for your health because it came from a cow. So it's got me thinking, what are the alternatives? So I know a lot of people are drinking this stuff, almond milk, okay? I have tried it several times, and I even got unsweetened first, which... I was putting in smoothies, and actually in a smoothie, I can't even tell it's in there, and it's perfectly fine for that. This uh, actually is not unsweetened, and it's it's got 12 grams of sugar for one cup, and uh, don't like it either. I'm not a fan of almonds. I'm not a fan of pretty much anything in the nut family, so it just leaves a bad aftertaste. Tried it the last couple of nights with some good chocolatey cereal. Um, not working for me, unfortunately. I, I still, I knew it was not cow's milk. I knew it was different. There was an aftertaste, and I, I tried. Just not going to work for me. So, went online and did some research. What are the other alternatives? Well, there's one called oat milk, and I don't know anything about it. I just know it comes from oats, and to me, that seemed like a good, kind of a good trade-off because oats are something that sounds appealing to me. You know, oatmeal and oats that are in cereal and that kind of thing and I think it has a sweeter taste which is what I'm looking for and uh, I'm really just trying to get away from the whole cow aspect to keep it healthier so tonight I purchased this right here oat milk now I have never smelled it I've never tasted it I don't know what the color of this is I have no clue whatsoever uh, you're gonna see my reaction live and legitimate. Uh, it's it's going to be 100% honest reaction as I drink this. I have no idea what to expect. And like I said, I don't typically drink milk out of a glass. So even if I drank cow's milk out of a glass, I probably wouldn't be all that thrilled with it. But uh, it's worth a shot. And I'm definitely going to have to try this in some cereal to get my real, real reaction. So let's start out first. Um, Planet Oat Oat Milk Original. Okay, got this at Walmart. And this has 90 calories for one cup, and it has four grams of sugar for one cup. So for my fat-free milk, you get 90 calories, exactly the same for one cup. And I know there's going to be a difference on the sugar. Um, let's see here. Yeah, total sugar, 12 grams. Okay, so 12 grams versus four grams. So cow's milk's got three more or a three times the amount of sugar in it, okay? And the ingredients here, oat milk, filtered water, oats, calcium carbonate, dipotassium, phosphate, sea salt, uh, gel and gum, vitamin A, vitamin D2, riboflavin. It doesn't sound too bad. There's Usually they say if you can't pronounce it, then there's uh, something that you shouldn't be consuming. And it's free from dairy, peanuts, gluten, soy, lactose, tree nuts, artificial flavors, colors, and preservatives. So that is, uh, it's good. And um, I'm just really curious, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I've noticed, too, the expiration dates. Uh, today is February 8th, and this doesn't expire until April 10th. Okay, so that actually goes out a couple of months. So that's pretty good. Okay, so, smelling it here. Actually, I don't, there's nothing that indicates anything I wouldn't like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and pour it right here. Okay, now right away, right away I'm noticing major color difference. It's um, kind of a beige, tan, creamy color, and... Um, I mean, it, it looks like milk. I don't think it's quite as white as this milk, but there it is. All right, let's give it a go here. All 
Okay, so not not bad. I honestly thought it was going to be sweeter than it is. It's not as sweet as I expected, but you know, honestly, my point of doing this is to be healthier, so I don't need it to be super sweet. That's what the cereal's for. A little bit of an aftertaste, but it's not a bad aftertaste. Um, you know, it, it's kind of weird. It actually kind of reminds me of the milk that would be left over in a bowl of cereal. You know, when you finish the cereal, this is kind of what's left over because that milk has filtered through the cereal. And, you know, a lot of the cereals are made from oats. And um, it kind of gives you that, that sense. So... I totally don't see myself just drinking this by the glass, but I never did that before, anyways. But in a bowl of cereal, that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the question. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get get a uh, get a bowl of cereal here, pour the milk in there, and I'm going to just eat a little bit of it and see what I think. Okay, okay. Cocoa Pebbles, best cereal ever made. Okay, we're just going to do a little bit here as a test. Okay, got your oat milk. I ain't going to lie, the color kind of kind of trips me up here just a little bit. Okay. So, once it's all mixed up, you know, it's all it's all chocolatey anyways. But uh here we go. Okay, I'm going to get make sure there's a good amount of milk in the bowl. You know, sometimes the mind plays tricks on you, and I would wonder if somebody swapped out my milk without me knowing what I'd be able to tell the difference. Being that I know that I've changed things up kind of kind of tricks your mind. Okay, so. My mind is telling me I can tell a difference. It's uh, it's not bad, but my mind is saying something is different. Obviously, something is different. The question is, will I and can I get used to the difference? And you know, will I allow myself to do that, or will I give up on it? Because. Having one bowl of cereal every night, every day, whatever, you know, the, the sugar and the fact it's it's dairy come from a cow, that's unhealthy and it's going to add up over time. So making one simple change like this, uh, you wonder, what can it do for you? I don't know. But I'm a very, very picky eater, and all I can say is I'm not gagging over here. And uh, that says a lot for me because I'm very, very picky. I don't eat vegetables and I just don't like a lot of things. So, I'm trying to see if the longer it kind of soaks up the cereal, the better it is. And, you know, I think it might be getting better. So, if you're kind of on the fence and don't know what to do, and you want to try a milk alternative, oat milk may be a good uh, solution for you, as well as almond milk if you if you like that sort of thing. But if you don't like nuts, you don't like almonds, oat milk may be what you're looking for. I had never seen this stuff; I'd never heard of it. So the fact I could just go in a local Walmart grocery store. And find this like just right there on the shelf. It was right there with the soy milk, the almond milk, you know, the silk, uh, the silk soy milk stuff. It was right there, and it did actually come in three different flavors. It had uh, original, and I believe it had extra creamy, and then there was one other one I cannot recall what it was, but I can already tell I like this better than the almond milk. So that's a th thumbs up on that. 
So anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always, and uh, love to hear your comments on this. Tell me what kind of milk you like, what kind of milk uh, you drink. Tell me what your thoughts are on if, if cow's dairy milk is really bad for you. Um, would love to hear your opinions on that. Let's get a discussion going here. And as always, I hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video.